He was in the Second World War. He was also a political prisoner for 10 years. The guy's been through a lot and he's like a little fireball. He's almost 91 years old and he's been raw vegan for over 40 years. So he's living proof that you can actually live really well for a long, long time eating this way. His name is Dan... What's your name? My name is Vahe Danielian, my boy. Van he Danielian. Okay, okay. That's his name. So uh, da Daniel, you know Daniel, Daniel. Daniel, Dan, Dan. his name's Dan. <laughs> okay. Almost a half a century I live I live on a live fruit. A live uh, food. food, you yeah. know. Fruits and vegetables, etc. etc. nuts, etc. etc. That's all. And I I forgot about about illnesses, diseases, about pains, etc., etc. He's an amazing guy, he's full of energy. I love Russia. This just goes to prove, whatever in life you fear or don't understand, get to know it. It could turn out to be something wonderful and amazing. Hello from Russia. The strongest, most powerful animals on the planet don't eat meat, and they live a lot longer than meat eaters. The same goes for humans. Hi, this is Marcus Rothkranz. My new DVD set, Raw Vegan Muscle, finally answers that famous question, where do you get your protein? If you want the strength and muscles of a gorilla, this video will open your eyes to the new incredible way of living that is changing people all over the world. I just hit 58 this year, and my body's actually better now. I feel like it's actually getting younger as I get older. In a raw food diet, I prefer raw food. It keeps the nutrients intact. I was the smallest guy in high school. I was like 5'2", 122 pounds. So I recommend anybody, keep it plant-based, keep your body clean so you can function later in life. Anybody can look good in their 30s. Show me the guys that are looking good 50, 60, 70, 80. I didn't have very good genetics for building muscle. The very, I didn't have the right structure, the right muscle mass, my, everything. I, I, I really had a lot of strikes against me when it came to that way. I wasn't naturally a muscular guy or it didn't come easy for me. Here I was this, you know, lifting guy, lifting, you know, eating weight, eat, you know, eating all this protein and lifting weights and all this sort of stuff. But as I developed, and you think that's the way to build that, but as I got more peaceful with myself, as I got more centered with myself, now my workouts took on a whole new dimension. Now I was able to produce stuff, instead of struggling to get in straight to shape or lose body fat or gain muscle, it became easy because my mind was not resisting me. My subconscious was not resisting me. And that's real strength. No meats at all. No milk or dairy or anything like that. These guys not only don't eat meat, whey, or soy, they also don't cook their food. Raw is living, uh, cooked is dead. When I do competitions, 100% raw, no cooked food, no anything like that. It is pristine because I'm at a very, very high performance level. It's simple. Cooking kills food. Eating food in its natural uncooked state gives us a hundred times the power. I was going to the gym and doing a week's worth of training in one single day. And eating this way can cost a lot less. So you're living off of five or six dollars a day. Yep, yep, and I'm proud of it too. I'm very poor, I'm just a cab driver in Las Vegas. And the main point to understand here is that I don't have a lot of money. I don't use supplements. I eat nothing but raw fruits, vegetables, and nuts. And uh, if I can get big, if I can afford it, then you can too. The reason I converted to a raw, plant-based diet was, oh, hitting around the age of 45, my body was starting to break down through uh, heavy animal products. Yeah, calcium deposits, arthritis starts to form. It's just natural when you're eating cooked food and meat especially. You can't believe the difference in how you feel, how you digest, and instead of taking in hundreds and hundreds of grams of protein, you'll, you'll cut your protein by probably, at, right off the bat, 50% and maybe even a little more as your body gets cleaner and more efficient to, to digest this. All of a sudden you don't need that much food. You can easily maintain close to that size by eating half the food that I hear people eat. And people are like, how is that possible you can build muscle? But if you look at moose, you look at this giant moose in the forest, 1,500 pounds walking to the swamp, and what does it eat? Your body converts uh, amino acids into muscle growth. And so this is why avocados, nuts, coconuts, durians, olives, they're all great sources of essential fats. Your body doesn't need a ton of protein, especially from animal products. And I'm 53 years old and I feel stronger now than I ever have, and this is all I'm doing. Most people that switch over to this style of, uh, of eating, 
are surprised with how little time it takes. I've just had the best breakfast ever. I mean, it only took a couple of minutes and it's done. Don't mess around with anything. Stay focused. You know what's, you know a raw apple's better for you than a cooked apple. So eat the raw apple. Listen to your instincts. How do you know that? I'll never stop eating. You gotta eat living food to get life. That's the bottom line. Another big myth is people think to get this big, you have to work out at the gym every day. I work out only twice a week. 30 minutes is all I need, probably three times a week. I work each muscle group only once a week. And that's how I work out three days a week. My workouts take way less time. I can get a full body workout in 30 minutes, but very, very high intensity. So what exercises do we do in the gym? Well, first of all, it doesn't even have to be the gym. We can do this stuff anywhere. It can be a playground, in a hotel room, the living room, the bedroom, the kitchen, the backyard with a partner, in the park, the garage, well, pretty much anywhere. You don't need fancy gym equipment and machinery. You just have to work out your muscles. When I first started out, I was so concentrated. How much weight can you lift? How much can you bench? How much can you squat? What's interesting, the more successful I got in the sport of bodybuilding, got better and better and better, I actually was using less and less weight. And then when I switched to raw food from a meat eater's diet, I was able to speed up my workouts radically. My recovery improved a lot quicker. And this allowed me to have more energy and dynamics. I was able to take a weight that was a fraction of what I could actually lift and work my muscles so much harder. There's a whole different world out there. Don't be afraid. Go for it. Get younger, get stronger. I'm eating for five or six bucks a day. I feel awesome. That allows me to use way, way, way less protein than say some of my other uh, competitors who are eating a lot of meat and eating two, three, four, five hundred grams of protein a day and creating all sorts of uh, acidic nit uh, waste products in the body, uric acid and that sort of thing. I'm eating 50 to 100 grams of protein and producing better results, feeling better, feeling more energy, feeling more flexible. I've done it both ways, so I'm one of the rare cases that can compare the two. To me, eating raw fruits and vegetable plant life is the best way to do that. It's just living food. It's really just logic. It's just common sense. Don't kill life in food because it's, you're not going to get any, any results. I just feel at my higher potential. I don't even need that much sleep either. You know, I'm only sleeping four or five hours a day. Bye bye lactic acid, and it, it's, it's just absolutely unbelievable how you can reduce muscle soreness, you can reduce inflammation. I, we take people that have swelling on the joints, maybe they were in a, you know, like football players and that sort of thing. Make a special, make the 11.5 water, wrap it in a towel, and literally watch the swelling go down in just wow. a few minutes. But I have to give my body a break because my tendons are I'm getting strength too fast. Take any pills? No. No pills. Zero. No powders? No powders, no pills, just raw plants. Just cheap fruits and vegetables. Cheap fruits and vegetables. And in 10 minutes a day, I can get a complete workout because I travel a lot and it's so fun. Most people were surprised is when I was getting ready for my national bodybuilding championships. I didn't do regular cardio. Now I'm really feeling a nice stretch here in my calves and hamstrings. And it's very, very easy and it's fun. You know, you don't have to be a technical person. You don't have anything, it doesn't cost anything. You know, it's, it's a great way to go on a date. <laughs> <laughs> go on a stretch date, stretch yourself. And you can feel, I can literally feel her shoulders open up. The better you look. Yeah. It's really a mental thing. And if I get my mind in the right place, the food, the nutrients, the right things will naturally flow into my life, flow into my cells, and they do that when you're relaxed, not when you're tense. Be a new person, be what you wanna be. Try it for 30 days. Go to the gym, do your workouts, and see, does that build more muscle inside your body? This is the real thing. From professional, world-class bodybuilders to penniless cab drivers, they all have the same things in common. This three-disc set reveals their secrets, what they eat, how they work out, and what a typical day and week is. Want some real healthy muscle? Listen to the world's top experts in the world of true, all-natural bodybuilding. There, there you go, baby. All greens, superfoods, right there, 100% raw. Let the videos in this DVD set be an inspiration to spark you into a new amazing way of living. High five. <laughs> <laughs>
good time on it. I'm not going to change ever. Yeah, so I don't uh, work out at all at the gym. It's just, you know, I um, do peel a lot of coconuts though, as that's my job. So on a Saturday, I'd peel four to five hundred because we sell them at Port Douglas Market, just above cans there, as a business, family business. So my father never went to work all his life. We just gathered coconuts during the week, peeled them on the Saturday, and then did the markets on a Sunday, which is serving all the tourists and public organic um, ingredients. I've never been skinny or looking deficient at all throughout my life. All the pictures, you know, through, as I was growing up, you always fit, you know, six pack running around really healthy. And my brother's like that as well. And my sister's is absolutely stunning as well. So I reckon it's very much to do with the diet. It's how you look and how you feel and how your body performs, you know. If you're feeling it with cholesterol and bloody chemicals and cooked food, animal products every day, you know, most people have bacon and eggs and I reckon it, you know, pig's ass and bloody chicken period. It's just disgusting when you think of it. Absolutely disgusting in all, all ways. So I really want to help people into learning of what really they should eat so they can have a lot better life as well. You know, it's not, no fun being sick who you are. I feel sorry for these people that don't realise it themselves. You know, they're, they're too fat to run and they, they can't have fun like I can because they're, just eating, they're being told to eat the wrong thing. It's not even their fault, you know. They grow up in schools which is saying, oh, you... You eat this and you eat that, and if you don't eat the pro the meat for protein, you're gonna you're gonna be fucking sick, you know. You're gonna you're gonna be deficient. You're gonna have really big problems, which is the opposite way around. So it's all a big scam, just to, for the hospitals, money makers, for the drug companies and the hospitals, in my opinion, for sure. And people should really be thinking of what they're eating because that's the quality of life, you know. It's like putting unleaded fuel in your sports car, you know, it just doesn't like it compared to the premium. Why would you put second best in your body when that's everything what you got, you know? If you're not putting the best in your body, what are you doing? I have tried um, cooked food. I've never tried meat or any dairy, but I have had pasta, rice, this is about two years ago. I just decided to try a few things as I haven't before. And um, yeah, I wasn't very happy with the way I felt afterwards. So I had like bad digestion it felt like, like lack of energy it felt really heavy like I wanted to go to bed yeah. compared to when I've always eaten raw food you know you eat and you're ready to jump you're ready to go you know there's always a lot of energy there I was like oh, I can climb coconut trees like walking in a straight line really I could do 10 in a row and it wouldn't phase me I might be sweating like hell but I still got the energy my dad's around 65 years old he can climb coconut trees better than me and he, he doesn't take any medications or um, no cholesterol problems or diabetes, like that's all diseases you don't need at all, yeah. really. Anyone that has it, I'm sure, <laughs> don't like to have it. And he's definitely doing the right thing. And it's so clear to me, and the age he is, he doesn't look like he's going to be slowing down the next 20, 40 years, you know. So it's really good to see that. And I'm, I'm hoping to live like over 100, hopefully. We'll see how it goes, as long as I don't have too bad of an accident. So I've, I've been on raw, organic, vegan food all my life and when I was in my mother's tummy. A sick person could cough in my face in most cases I wouldn't at all get it because yeah your immune system fights it so much better. I never um, went to school either, I did homeschooling all my life so I didn't get influenced. My parents were very smart on that. Mum and dad never split up at all or had any fights or even thought of divorcing, you know, like when you got one goal in life, which is what you eat, and you get that good food all the time, I find it will even help relationships a lot better as well. Because I had the most amazing upbringing uh, I could ever imagine. I couldn't possibly think of anything better. My mother had seven children, and she doesn't spend any time in the hospital. Like a lot of people that have that, like she also, she's had all home births mainly. She hasn't had a cesarean or any complications with her birth, so it could have happened in the middle of nowhere, and would still be all fine. Whether if you're eating the shit food all the time, you're going to have an unhealthy body, which you know your baby comes out immature or.
coming out the wrong way around or it's not coming out at all and they have to cut your tummy open and pull it out, you know. So it's really, something they're doing is really wrong, I reckon. We've got so far in other ways, so why can't we work out what we should be eating? A lot of people, when they think of Russia, they think of communism. Well, it's not communist anymore, it's a democracy. We also tend to picture those old world chubby babushkas. I was just flown to Russia to speak in front of 7,000 people at the country's first vegetarian festival and wow, those people are beautiful. They are thin, healthy, and very blonde. I was told the word Russ means blonde, and they weren't kidding. Most of them don't go to doctors or use drugs or pills. Why? Because life is a lot simpler in Russia and they make very little money, so they have to grow their own food and they can't afford pesticides. Decides. So they're a lot healthier. Sometimes a meal can be this simple. The event took place at a huge 300-acre international cultural center being built two hours outside of Moscow called Ethnomir, designed to celebrate cultural diversity and world health and ultimately unite the world, all set in a beautiful natural setting with big hotels and even bigger cafeterias that serve vegetarian food. There were morning meditations and a cultural coming together that truly makes you feel the world is finally becoming one. I spoke on three different panels about how true health is the connection of body, mind, and spirit through raw food, healthy relationships, life values, and the interconnectedness of all living things. I met with government officials. Marcus Rothkrantz, and I'm with the minister. Of the no, minister is over there, but now, uh, as to me, I am a deputy of government. I'm the deputy of government for Ethnomir. And Ethnomir itself. Okay, so we're in Russia, Russia. <laughs> and uh, we're here at the festival, and I'm just helping to promote how important it is that people are healthy in this world. Right. 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 Yes. So thank you for helping to promote this. this is yes. So important. Yes. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Okay, thank you. They were really curious. Russian scientists hooked up medical testing equipment to see exactly how healthy a raw foodist like me was and they were very excited to say the least. I tested better than everyone else they tested. My readings were that of someone in their 30s, even though I am almost 50. It showed my energy and vitality levels were three times that of a normal person. It even showed I had extremely high psychic abilities and did great on tests given to Russian astronauts. They desperately wanted my book and DVDs translated in Russian so they would know my raw food secrets, and I definitely plan on doing that. The story about being young at heart for most of us reaching the age of 72 means taking it easy a little bit, time to relax, maybe a light workout here and there. That's not the way this 72-year-old California man lives. This guy is Jim Morris. He has been bodybuilding for close to half a decade, and he shows no signs of slowing down. Now, he was a former Mr. America. Get this, at the age of 72, he works out every single day for an hour, six days a week. And here's his diet. Nuts, beans, fruits, and vegetables. Nuts, beans, fruits, and vegetables. I, I couldn't. I couldn't do that. No, no. <laughs> a side of cheesecake and a, yeah, I didn't a hear big a cheeseburger steak. in the mix. Yeah, not at all. Yeah. Seventy-two is looking good. He looks great. Don't He's so it. cute. <laughs> I'll let you say. It.
For me, bodybuilding is a, it's a creative outlet. I create what I feel is an example of what's possible at a particular age or a particular point in time. When you look at him throughout his progression, as he aged, just looking at age 61, the photos, at 72, 77, I mean, it's, it's an unbelievable testament to a number of things, work ethic, dedication, desire, and you could argue healthy living, I mean, a healthy approach in a sport where a lot of guys don't make it past 40, 50, 60 with good health. When I meet people and they look and they just can't figure out what is not quite working there, and then they, they ask me, how old are you? And I tell them, and then they're surprised. Hope is 14. She's having more and more problems walking. Other than that, her health seems to be good. She's my eighth dog. I believe that all creatures, all living creatures, are born with the, the right, the inalienable right of freedom. Freedom to live our own life in our own way, in our own environment, making our own decisions. Every creature. I believe we're all, all equal. And I didn't believe that before I met Jimmy. Most people have a problem becoming a vegan or stopping eating meat, but because of how I want to live in this world and how I want to treat other creatures, I have to be a vegan. In order for me to eat meat, I would have to change all of my other beliefs. So, Jim, I can't help but notice what an incredible shape you're in. Do you mind me asking you a personal question? How old are you? 76, I'll be 77 Friday. Oh my God, 77? Yes. yes. Where, how do you maintain those muscles? Well. What's happen at your age? <laughs> I'm the, I, I do what everybody knows, but they don't do. Ah. I pay attention to what I eat. Most important. I, yeah, I get exercise, and I keep my activity level up. And I keep the stress levels down. That's it, those three things. The magic words. Jim, with those muscles, you must get attention. Yeah, I, I get attention from mostly women. Oh, yes. Yeah, right, right. The women like the muscles. <laughs> We're here at the shoot for the People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. When I was contacted by Peter, uh, very, very glad. A lot of people, once they find out that I'm vegan, ask, well, how can you maintain, how can you get enough protein, and how can you have strength and, and, and endurance and, and all of that? So uh, I think their campaign is going to really expose a lot of people to the benefits of veganism. The high point of my career was the Mr. America contest. I won the Mr. America contest with a winning margin of 30 points. Prior to that, the record had been 21 points, and it had been set by the first Mr. America, and it had lasted for 39 years. When I won it, I actually set three records. One, the largest point margin, the only openly gay person ever to win, and at 37, the oldest person to win. And all three of those records still stand. At that point, I had been training for 18 years. I got into this sport in the 90s, early 2000s, being in bodybuilding. I was looking for other people, I was looking for role models, I couldn't find them. I, uh, even in the internet age, it was hard to find people that were doing this. I just heard of Jim a few years ago. He literally was the person I thought he would be. Uh, humble, easygoing, very upfront. He doesn't hide anything. So it was real good to see that, you know, I have this 77-year-old uh, twin out there. <laughs> he has this really, from a bodybuilding standpoint, unbelievable resume. I mean, competing back with Arnold and competing with some of the legends of the sport, and when you look at his physique, not only for his age, but when you look at in his prime, he had one of the best physiques on the planet. And not only that, 
he was actually one of the early guys, one of the pioneers. But looking at, at Jim, you almost have to wonder, why didn't we hear more about Jim? So much more satisfying, gratifying to me now that I can make a difference in people's lives. It's that staying in shape, that lifelong fitness that I have to offer.